Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Deepak Punyal, and in this video, I am going to discuss about a little bit of problem statements of week one. Because in previous videos, we have discussed problem statements, but still there was some confusion left. So let's remove that first. And one important thing that I am going to discuss here is the way we should we should take input, right? Some of you might be using file handling for this kind of input format but I will tell you an easy method of doing that so let's begin with it first of all you should understand what is sample input format and what is output format so we are going to begin with input format first you can see we have first line that contains a number of test cases that is T and for each test case we have three input lines so suppose this is 1 then we will have 3 more lines if this is 2 then we will have 6 more lines if it is 3 then we have 9 more lines and so on first line contains n that is size of array second line contains n space separate integers so you should understand this clearly that it is space separate integers if it is comma separated you have to do modification according to that and third line contain the key element that need to be searched okay so look at this problem statement first one we have an array of non-negative integers we need to design an algorithm for this using linear algorithm time complexity will be o n here is sample input for this and here is the sample output for this similarly for the second problem that is binary problem or binary search the algorithm will take O log n time and for this kind of input we'll have this output okay so you can just pause the video and see the input and output format as of now for the jump search there's one more variant of jump search that is exponential search so I'm going to discuss a bit of these things so in case of jump search we have a jump of size m so basically we are starting with 0 but then we are going towards m then 2m km and so on and basically we are finding out the interval in which a key element could lie and then we are performing a linear search and this algorithm takes root n time okay so here is the input for this and here is the output so just pause the video see these and see if your solution matches with them i will also provide you solution for these but right now i'm showing you the questions only and for the exponential search we are starting with zero then one then two four eight and so on so basically we are increasing with the power of two to the power k right and we are finding out a interval which is two to the power k or 2 to the power k plus 1 so if element exists between these two elements we can either apply linear search or binary search right and then we can find out elements between these two indexes right so I have created two sample input output one is for linear search here is the input and here is the output for this and similarly for binary version for the same input we have this output okay so the problem statement ends here now we have to focus on input format suppose we have this kind of input format so we already know what is input format right so I will pick one of these arrays I have already created an input file for this you don't need to input every time manually right so what you can do you can create a file put input here so this is 3 so we have three inputs one is this another is this and third one is this keep a new line at the end and then in this we have five numbers these are five numbers we need to find out 41 here we have eight numbers we need to find out 69 we have 10 numbers and we have to find out Seven triple nine. so what you can do you don't need to use file handling for this 
create a python file or maybe c++ file whatever you want to use i am telling you using this python file first or i am creating a python program just create a function a read file and now what you have to do just write n and take input input will be in string format so convert it into integer and then after that you can print n to check whether it comes out to be 3 or not and how this function is going to be executed it will be executed if you write a statement something like this if name equal to equal to main just call a read file now go to terminal here we have these files I need to execute read file dot py okay one thing is one thing is missing here read file dot py and we need to pass input file to this read file so basically we are providing all the content of input dot txt to this read py, read file dot py and now you can see we are getting three as output here so basically you have taken input from this input dot txt and you can use it now uh, go ahead remove this print and from here what is next now we have three test cases we know that right so for i in range and we need to write n because there are n test cases so in each test case first one is size so write size and again make it input and int so first input it will take will be size another I want this whole line as input so declare it as array so basically in Python it is a list and input everything from here if you want this array as different numbers so basically this will be a string as of now but I want to convert it to list so what I have to do array dot split so this was a string now this is list okay because we are splitting a string and it by default splits on space okay and if you want to convert every element to integer what we have to do int element convert every element to integer for element in array and if you want key element which you need to search that is 8 again write something like this make it key so you have taken all the inputs right what you can do print size print array elements and what are elements array and then print key now you will be able to see all the input test cases here and if you want to print n you can print n also it is number of test cases okay now run the program and here you can see number of test cases 3 size is 5 elements are these key is 41 size is 8 elements are these key is 69 and so on and now you can use all these things in a program suppose you want to use this in linear search so what you have to do you can remove these if you wish to do otherwise after this you can just call a algorithm linear search and what you need for a linear search you can pass this array it's maybe size although you don't need size in this case you can calculate length of this array in this function and you will automatically find out the size but this is just an algorithm or kind of pseudo code so if you want to apply it in C or C++ you can use so okay and that's how you are going to call another function how you are going to write that for the linear search you can write something like this 
and start searching here okay so that's how read file work you can use this program in FD algorithm okay I will commit this program git add read file dot py git commit python program to read file file input okay now we have C++ code here we can write all these things in C++ also so what you have to do include has include IO stream using namespace std then int main and you have to do similar things that you have done okay we can see this on left side and now what you have to do just take integer n and you can take input in n and this will be number of test cases so what you have to do see out number of test cases after that create a loop and inside that loop i equal to 0 i should be less than n i plus plus and what we are going to do inside this here we are going to take input size and we need to declare size first and similarly also declare key and once we have declared size we need an array of size as we got here and once you have an array you can create another loop int j equal to 0 j should be less than size and j plus plus so we need to take those many numbers and for each number just take this input in each index of array and now we have array here after this just take another input which is key and that's how you have taken all the input like you are doing here so it is in Python and it's in C++ okay so after this once you are done just try to print size if you want to print array so int maybe you can take another variable k which starts with 0 and k should be less than size k++ plus plus and then you can print each array element that is k and if you want to give a space between them do it like this and once you are done you can give c out endl okay and after that just print key element and endl after this so you are reading all the test cases like this just try to run this program now what you have to do g++ dot cpp program is executed successfully now run this program pass input dot txt inside this and here is the output you have successfully read the file right so this is how you read the files now check git log and do git status I don't need this a dot out file here so what you have to do git add read file dot cpp and then git commit and you need to pass a message here so it's a C++ program to read the file input you can decide input on your own okay 
so we are done with it now if you check the status we have only input file here I will commit this file later and now if you want to push you can write something like this and push this file okay so I think I am done with this in the next video I am going to discuss linear search then binary search then jump search and exponential search okay so see you in the next video till then thank you so much